little bit more about how you do it. How do you create a culture that, that brings comments like you just heard from your folks? I think a lot of it is just being really aware of staff needs, both at work and at home. And I will tell you, it, it, it really helps to have a good culture when you honestly have such a great group. I mean, those comments right there, our staff, if there's someone in need, they are the first one to be doing emails, going out. It truly is a family feel, and I'm blown away by our staff on a daily basis on the culture that they provide to their coworkers and to us, too. It really is our staff that makes it easy to do. You guys obviously have a lot of important work to do. You have fun. How do you balance that? You have fun, but you've still got to get the job done. Yeah, we always say that. We work really hard and play really hard. Uh, we have Thrill Me Thursdays where we're possibly doing line dances or ice cream or whatever we're going to do, whatever the fun thing the staff comes up with that day. Um, we take time to, like, just right now we're doing 12 days of Christmas. So we do a little gift every day for the last 12 days, and one of our opera singer employees is singing the 12 days of Christmas every day to our staff. <laughs> 10 minutes out of the day, we work hard the rest of the day, but we get, we get a chance to have a lot of fun, so. That's great. Well, obviously what you are doing is clearly working. <laughs> so congratulations Thank to you. Brooke Armstrong and Brandon Barton, everyone at Optometric Building Solutions.